Time for the knee joint. I'm going to show you how to scan the suprapatellar recess of the knee joint. The patient position is supine like so, with approximately 30 degrees of knee flexion. The landmark is going to be the proximal pole of the patella, and the orientation of the ultrasound probe is going to be long on the femur. The movements are going to be slight angulations of the probe until the femur shines nice and bright, in addition to the proximal pole of the patella shining nice and bright. The area of interest is going to be the hypoechoic, or very dark, area between the two fat pads that we'll show on the screen shortly. So that's how we scan for the suprapatellar recess of Not the this. knee joint, which is how you get an injection into the knee joint fluid. So this is a little bit of fat here. Uh, the hypoechoic uh, area, we can't actually see it in this view. You'll see it in a, a section coming up shortly. So um, let's draw it. So we know that this is bone. Of course, this is our patella. This is our femur. Cartilage, you can't see cartilage, but we know there's gonna be cartilage underneath here, and there's gonna be cartilage underneath here. Fluid. Well, you're gonna have to trust me here, but the fluid comes essentially like that into the knee joint. Ligament, well, I suppose theoretically we could call this a ligamentous tissue here because what connects bone to bone is ligament. Tendon, well, this is an easy one. This is all tendinous tissue here. This is your quadriceps tendon. And muscle, there's no muscle in view. Let's clear it away, draw it one more time. Bone, bone, cartilage, fluid, ligament, tendon. Try that one more time. Tendon, and there's no muscle. Okay, time to see what it's like in a live model. I'm going to show you how to scan and inject the knee joint using ultrasound. I've already got my patient positioned in a perfect angle, approximately 30 to 40 degrees of flexion. You might need a large bolster, and you definitely need a non-sock uh, wearing foot so it doesn't slide on the exam table. My landmark is going to be the patella. You can see that on the top right view of the screen. The orientation of the probe is long axis on the femur. My area of interest is in the center of the screen, highlighted by the yellow arrow. The yellow arrow is now over the suprapatellar fat pad. The yellow arrow is now over the prefemoral fat pad. So the joint fluid recess we're looking for is between the prefemoral fat pad and the suprapatellar fat pad. To perform the injection, I'm going to spin the probe 90 degrees towards me, and I can see that hypoechoic area there. I need to tow in the probe just enough to be able to get my needle tip up and over the femoral condyle. My needle enters the skin just here and goes to touch that yellow arrow, the tip of the yellow arrow like so. This is a normal amount of physiologic fluid within the suprapatellar recess. And in cases where there's less fluid than this, there's an alternative injection angle under ultrasound. We take the legs straight, we add a bit more gel, We keep our probe with the same orientation. The landmark is going to be, once again, the patella. But now we're going to drop the probe onto the medial femur. We can see the hypoechoic knee joint fluid here. And to inject it, all we have to do is drop our needle out of plane, like so, into the knee joint fluid there. 
So that's how I normally scan and inject the knee joint in the suprapatellar recess. But in the event you can't see enough fluid to inject, you can always default to this medial patello femoral approach out of plane straight down like this. Excellent. Now time to move on to the quiz. Hey, congrats on finishing that section. Can I show you inside one of our live courses? Let's go. I certainly can say that Frank's courses are very well structured, very well taught, very practical. Just even being able to use ultrasound in like the top 25 conditions are the ones that we see in, in clinic. There's a huge community and a huge well of knowledge when you join one of the courses and you have access to all of these people who have seen a lot more than you have and there's no guesswork. You leave feeling very confident with what you need to do to be successful for your patients and then in your practice. You want to be able to do basic hip injections, shoulder injections, elbow injections and I think Frank Johnson set up a very good protocol and a very good syllabus to be able to get the top type of procedures you're going to be doing in clinic and make sure you understand those well before moving on to the next step. My revenue went up almost instantly. There's always now just more opportunity to reinvest into my clinic, reinvest into the things that I like, and I've been very satisfied.